Hello and welcome back to Factorio. And yeah, the last episode was seven minutes longer than it should be, but mostly because I was a dumb dumb and forgot the time. But anyway, we were setting up um, the automation for a bunch of stuff. Uh, a few things which we don't actually have at the moment. Uh, some things which we can automate uh, immediately, which is the electric poles over here. The different electric poles, the medium and the big. Uh, let's see here. It's right, it's the copper. And then, right, we need this. We need steel as well. Right, right. I sh should probably probably do this. Uh, split this. Do. Mm -hmm. No, nope. wrong. Do it again. Do it right. Oh my God. Uh, there we go. And this is just to get one belt with everything, not, nothing else really. Um, I could have done two belts, but yeah, I, I can't be bothered. It does get a bit snaky and we all love spaghetti, so why not? Whether you love Factorio spaghetti, that's something you have to ask and answer yourself. Alright, it doesn't go any faster. Uh, but yeah. The big electric poles. Uh, the difference there is... I can show you. Let's take one. As I've shown before, this is the medium. Uh, this is the radius. Now, a big electric pole has a much smaller footprint, like has a much much smaller area which is can which it can power from. It is this what is it? One, two, no, four by four with this is Mm, let's see here. No, it doesn't work like that. Whatever. Uh... There we go. It is seven by seven. So seven times seven in comparison to four, four times four, like four by four versus seven by seven. It's a big difference how many tiles you can uh, power. But the big thing about the big electric pole. Now, if you have been driving, uh, whether you you yourself was the driver or or you if you were a passenger you are looking out the window or if you happen to be walking in an area these are the long distance power poles and if you have seen them in real life this is actually how they look basically uh, these are the ones which they use for long distance cable electric electricity transports and as you can see the distance is long it can cover a long distance there's no way the medium like the medium 
can only reach to here. Takes quite a few few medium uh, power poles to get from where this one is to where this one is and stay connected all the way. So that's the big difference. Oh, we are getting an alert. And if we run up here, we can see some corpses on the ground. This means fighters are attacking. And while the defenses probably won't be having any problems right now, this is something to keep in mind. If we if I hadn't put these up, they would have been wrecking all of my stuff right now. And I would have gotten a bunch of alerts and so on and so forth. And with how low the sound is, I can't hear it. So yep. I really need to fix myself some headphones. So I can hear the game music because this is it's ridiculous. Uh, whatever we, well, how much have you done? We have apparently done the train stuff, Majini. Uh, so we can actually make trains now. Uh, I'm not considered done, like done yet with getting trained. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take the engine units, which I have produced, make one car, one locomotive, and I'm going to do the cargo wagon. Yeah, let's do... Hmm, did I do two or four? Let's make four, whatever. Um, now, what I'm going to do is change my color. Now, I like red, so I'm going to be red. And there are a bunch of stuff which gets colored based on what your color is. The turrets, for one thing, is that, and the car is one of those those things as well. As you can see, the car is now red. Once I get out, it's also it's still red. If I pick it up and put it down, it's it's the default gray again. But if I go in, it's red. If I go out, it's still red because it's my car. Now. How did I enter the car? I hear you ask. Well, by standing close enough, and by close enough, there's no, there's no way of knowing how close is close enough. So, basically, up uh, as far as our, up to it you can, and press enter, and in you go. It's the same way when you enter a train, and yes, you can ride a train. But it is flashing. Because it has no fuel. Now, I'm not going to use wood. That would be... Would run out way too quick, so we are going to pick up some coal. There we go, that should be enough. 143, that's... More than I, more than I need probably. <clears throat> what I'm going to do as well is. Oh right, I haven't moved these. I should probably do that. Let's pick up some of these. And you. Let's pick you up. And move you. Now I'm not going. All oh, right, I didn't turn this on. There we go.
Uh, come on, trees. Go away. No, I did make... I did make... Um, grenades. Alright, what I can do now is showcase the grenades. And grenades... You hover over them, click on them. You're not, ha you're not holding the grenade. If you remove the inventory by clicking E to getting it away, you can see this green ring. That's the radius which you can throw a grenade. If you click outside, nothing happens. If you click inside, boom, you throw a grenade. Now be very careful because I'm going to show you. Grenades, grenades damage your own stuff. So be very careful. Whoops. But they are very, very good at clearing out forests. So. I'm going to just shoot these trees. There we go. Now, trees do regenerate over time, so if you just leave a tree be, uh, it will get to full health again, whereas your stuff won't. But, as you can see, I have a repair pack. I have it in my hand as I picked up the other stuff. Just click on it. Press E to get uh, out of the inventory screen, and then you just click while holding it on things that needs to be repaired. Let's just go over everything that needs. And this isn't an infinite repair. It does have durability, so you do need to craft more of them if enough stuff is damaged. Now, as I said, cutting trees um, is not something I want to do because they do help with pollution, but they are quite in the way at this point, so I'm going to remove some of them. Not all of them, just some of them. If we, without going into the car, click on it, we can actually access the car. It cars inventory. If I control click on the coal, I will move all the coal into the car. And it will put the coal in because it's a fuel in the fuel box and the rest into the trunk. And the car does have a gun. The gun works exactly the same as your own gun by pressing space hovering while hovering over an enemy you will shoot at them and if you want to shoot at trees or a friend or whoever or whatever um, you hold c and mouse over them or whatever it is and the car many people say that the cars the car in this game is ridiculously hard to drive i beg to differ i do sympathize uh, with those playing multiplayer having latency and all that stuff uh, but just single player it's not that hard of course it is not if you're used to basically the old pixel games kind of driving like death rally or, or sega or many of those like old pixel games then it will be easier because that's basically what it is but have we we are on the last things to craft so uh we will almost very soon be done with our stuff. I'm going to 
do that and I'm going to keep those four. <clears throat> Let's do this. Make one. Put it there. There we go. Um. <clears throat> Right, I do need somewhere to put the train stations. I do just need, don't need that many of them, so. And as soon as, let just, just, oh, the rare. Ooh. Good thing I went over here because the reds aren't being produced enough now we need copper down here what i'm going to do is just temporarily put copper into it there we go this means we actually have a bit of extra um Yeah, um, not something I want to do, but probably don't have much of a choice. The green science is fine. There's no problem with that. Uh, as you can see, uh, the red was running a bit low. Seems like I caught it just in time, so it didn't mess things up. But if we then make the train stop, right, we do actually need uh, plates as well. And now we're making train stops, which is super good. Now we just need rail signals and we can actually say that we have achieved trains. While we wait for the last of the racing, we do need to automate rails because you need tracks to actually put down. And now we will understand why I said we need raw stone. Yes, it's a lot of stuff going crisscross, but oops, run out of belts. Okay, let's pick up some more. Take half of the thousand that's there. Don't need 1,500 is actually enough, so... Let's do this. There we go. Uh, let's see here. And we do need iron. I don't want to split up the iron too much. Could just continue this up. I'm going to move this a bit. There we go. And we are going to make two level two assembly ma machines let's see here we want one of these not sure all right, we do need a bunch of those. 
and then we need we do need this and that's where the iron comes in iron rods because we need them we need a steel we need a stone we have everything there we go now we just need to make this A part of the ne uh, electricity network like this. Now, this isn't optimal placing of the power poles, but I don't care. There we go. We are making rails. Now, I don't probably don't want that much. This is just fine. Um, and that will just endlessly create rails. Probably going to move it some some point, but. Yeah, that time isn't now, and I don't, I don't want the stone to be snaking all the way in here because you don't need that much stone, especially not in the beginning. And since I will be redoing this, I don't want to have to remove unnecessary amounts, and th this will be going for a while, so. Let's... Yeah, uh, that's an okay amount of stone to keep 50. Let's keep 50. Um, yeah, let's take all of the walls. Yeah, and now it's building up. Um, And we finished the rail signals. Now I will put lab speed 2 on and oil processing because having the uh, lab research speed makes it so much quicker to research. Uh, and the amount of res like the amount of time it takes to make to do every single research after a while uh, it increases quite a lot so having the lab research speed um researched is actually really good sure we'll add a military science pack mm, yeah, sure we'll take the circuit network and then if it finishes it does if it doesn't doesn't but right now we want to do this and i did it correctly yeah i did and now where do we want the first station to be because that's the that's the big question. Where do we want the first station to be? Now, I'm not going to make double-headed trains. I'm going to make one-headed trains which have a loop so they can turn around. Or some way of turning around to go the other way but I'm not going to make double-headed trains because I'm I don't have a space limit okay, I, I'm not limited for space but I can make I can make that uh, roundabout or turn or whatever I need to make the train go back 
um, going to pick up some rails and then we are going to decide where we will put them down. We probably will push the turrets out a bit. But I think... Hmm. Or probably we'll... Oh, uh, no. I should probably scout a bit. See what ro resources there are. And... Try to find which way to expand. Now. Whoops. Not gonna go there. Don't want to run through all the trees and break my car and yes your car will get damaged so be careful not against the cliffs or the water but trees uh, will damage your cars uh, your car so something to be aware and careful of now the car is not that durable so, not something you want to go YOLO with. Uh, but you can kill better with this than your own character. I'm probably gonna... Probably no, not a problem to take care of this. Now, the worms is... Really, really annoying. Th see it as a turret for the biters. That's basically what it is. Um, it's a turret defending the bases which can spawn biters. I'm gonna have to make a few of the repair packs because... Yeah. And the biters spit. Uh, like the turrets spit acid. And it will damage you after they have been spitting. They can miss, but uh, the likelihood of them missing isn't that high. Now this ammo is being eaten up like you wouldn't believe it. As you could see a few times they missed but yeah the not enough times I would say and you can't repair while in a car you have to get out so while you're fighting uh, you can't repair the car basically you have to stand still and get out to repair the car, which is in a sense logical, but it is something to be aware of because it might screw you over if, if you think you can repair the car while while driving and while in the car, which you can't, by the way. Uh, yeah, this episode, there's not that much left of it, so... Yeah, and as you could, could see there, I ran into a tree and took a bit of damage. Not a lot of damage, but some damage. Uh, that's uranium. There's a bunch of iron. Oh, there's a lot. Let's let's check. How much iron is it? It's the first one is six point seven million. The second one is 14 million, million, and uranium is almost 10 million. That's a lot of ores uh, there, but it is quite far away. But since we have trains, that's not a problem. We're just gonna have to get the trains out here and make an outpost and put up miners and then get power out to it to power the miners and 
set up a defense so the biters can't attack and yeah and so on and so forth and that's basically what we're gonna have to do when the resources run out and that's something i haven't been talking about but the resources to start with while it's not a small amount of resources you start with it's not infinite resources you will run out of resources so you will have to run out and get more resources every patch is depletable which means nothing will be going forever uh, except oil oil is a bit different it works a bit different um, it is technically infinite but it it trickle it goes down to such a small trickle which means it will take a lot of uh, a lot of oil wells until you have so much oil that even if they give you the absolute smallest amount they can you still have enough oil that that's going to be a lot of oil so yeah uh, the oil is a bit different, but technically it does run out. It's just so little oil that uh, you get. Uh, you have to get more if you want to have... You If you want to feed your factory uh, well enough. And yeah, I'm just going to quickly drive back to the factory. We have... Uh, that coal there at the water is there's a lot of coal there but it's so long the water is really a pain to get that so i probably will have to get it if i want more coal and i do want more coal there we go repaired and nice and clean and all that stuff and we almost got lab research speed too, but with that, we actually have trains. Now, to satisfy everyone, both me and you, we are going to put down a temporary rail. Remove this. And the station. And this. This, this, oh, it's not long enough. Boink. There we go. Yeah, and I might do three wagons. Yeah, I'll probably do three wagons, not four. Three wagons. I will probably make three wagons. I'll see. Maybe four. I'm not sure. We'll see how I'm going to, but I'm not going to make two. What I'm going, to, I'm going to show you what I mean with double-headed. This is double-headed, where you have a train facing every direction, uh, so it can can go both way on on a track. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do a one-handed train, and we will probably get the lab research speed two uh, but with this we have trains we have rail signals and all the stuff we need to make trains and the rails and the network and all of that to work now we just need a destination to go to Um, oh, right, right, right. There we go. And yeah, with that, I think we are good for the episode. Now I'm just quickly going to check. Yeah, the power is half. 50, we are using 50% of the power we can produce, but anyway. We are going to have to see where we can expand. We did find a bit of um, iron, a bunch, of, uh, a bit, a lot of iron and uh, a lot of uranium, but 
that's about it we haven't we haven't searched mu much oh we did find a bit of copper there it's no not sure how much it is is 1.2 million what what we can see but yeah we will probably uh try to expand and clear up the biters and put a real perimeter around our base uh, with defenses and produce way way more ammunition to fuel all of uh, the gun turrets around the perimeter but as i said this is the end of this recording session since we managed to get to trains this is the end so with that thanks for watching goodbye and i hope i'll see you in the next one